Hey there, weavers. Welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving. I was recently asked about how to transfer the cross from in front of the reed to behind the reed. Now, I warp my loom. Um, I guess I warp it uh, back to front, front to back. I can never remember which is which. Um, so I wind the warp uh, onto the back beam, um, the warp beam, I should say, and then I thread the heddles. So I guess I warp it back to front. Um, but I use my reed as a rattle. So I, uh, rough slay the reed with my warp, attach it to the warp beam, and then uh, wind it on. And the cross ends up in front of the reed. So I need to, before I uh, wind it all the way on and um, thread the heddles, I need to transfer that cross from the front of the reed to the back of the reed. And the way that I do that is by using three um, leaf sticks. The first two leaf sticks are in the um, cross, and then the third leaf stick is used to move the uh, shed, or to move the cross from the front to the back one at a time. So uh, I'll demonstrate that in the video, but I just wanted to make a quick little tips and tricks video for you that uh, outline that. And so let's go. Okay, so you can see I have the cross in front of my reed and I'm going to transfer the cross to the back of the reed so that I can thread it. So I have the leaf sticks um, secured with uh, these binder rings. And so I'm going to take these off and this, these just keep them from slipping out while I am working with the cross in front of the reed. We will put them back in once we get the cross behind the reed. So the best way to do this is with three leaf sticks. And my loom actually came with three leaf sticks. I take the beater with the reed in it and I pull it forward. I've got a uh, cord here that is keeping it from falling all the way forward. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the back leaf stick, I'm going to turn it on edge and put it up against the reed. Then I'm going to pull my beater forward slightly. And so what this does is turning the leaf stick on edge and I'll see if I can get you about around the back. So you can see right here there is a you can see the shed and this is the the leaf stick on edge creating that shed. So I'm going to take my third leaf stick and I am going to thread it through that shed. I'm going to do it from this side, maybe. So take your time. Make sure that you do not catch any threads that should be on the top. All right. So now we have that leaf stick transferred. So we push it to the back. Now we can take this leaf stick out. It's a scary thing to do. Now we take the second leaf stick and we do the same thing. We push it 
up to the reed. And what I like to do is pull it up to create more of a shed. And then I pull that forward again. And I take my leaf stick, and you can take the leaf stick that you just took out. Um, and you're going to put it in that shed that you just made. And sometimes it is helpful to raise the leaf stick in front so that you can see the shed a little bit easier. Just take your time. Now, before we take this front leaf stick out, I'm going to take this one, push it back to the leaf stick that is behind the reed, and I'm just going to double check and look and make sure that I didn't miss any or get one incorrectly in the wrong shed. So it looks like I'm good. So I can take this front leaf stick out and I can put my keeper clips back on my leaf sticks so that they do not come undone and I don't lose my cross. And that's it. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks and happy weaving.